You ever have those shows that you've never actually seen, but you feel like you have? Like, I've never actually sat down and watched The Office, for example, but thanks to the rest of the entire internet never shutting up about it, I feel like I've seen every episode of The Office. Now, in the same way, I've never seen Lazy Town, but I feel like I've seen the entire show with all the memes about this guy, and like, 10 years ago or so, a bunch of dudes on the internet were really obsessed with this girl, for no doubt very wholesome reasons, I'm sure. Now, just recently, I discovered that pretty much every episode of Lazy Town is up officially on YouTube in HD, so I figured, hey, why not check it out? So, let's take a walk. But before that, really quick, this video is brought to you by Surfshark VPN. Somehow, it's 2021. Pretty much everyone knows what a VPN is. It protects you when you're on the internet, it stops your IP address from being hacked, and your personal data getting exposed. I mean, everybody needs one. But Surfshark VPN goes above and beyond your typical VPN. You can use it on as many devices as you want with just one subscription. They also offer their Surfshark alert service that checks to see if your personal data has been leaked anywhere, like usernames, passwords, that kind of thing. So you can stay one step ahead. As well as their Surfshark search engine, which which is a completely private and organic search engine free from data tracking and overreaching algorithms. And get this, you can sign up to Surfshark VPN today by going to surfshark.deals slash Alex Myers and use the promo code Alex Myers to get 83% off the regular price when you sign up for a two year subscription. That means you get premium VPN services and a guaranteed peace of mind using any device or all of them at the same time, plus four free months if you sign up before December 31st. So if you don't have a VPN, then you really need to sign up. But even if you already have one, go to surfshark.deal slash Alex Myers and use the promo code Alex Myers to give Surfshark a try. Okay, back to the show. Now, the very first thing about Lazy Town that we all need to understand is that the residents of this town are the most horrifying soulless puppets I've ever seen. I mean, look at these kids. Look, look at these eyes. What's this Five Nights at Freddy's looking thing over here? I mean, this just looks like all my 4 a.m. sleep paralysis demons all just like sitting in the teacher's lounge before they decide which one gets to pay me a visit this time. I swear I've woken up in the middle of the night and seen this exact kid on the foot of my bed. You know, your friends aren't really your friends. They only hang out with you because they feel sad. Sorry for you. Hey, come on, man, shut up. Anyway, so these kids have a major problem that's ruining their lives. Okay, let's see if we can figure out what it is. Do you let me have some popcorn? Well, I could give you one little piece, but it's mine. Jake, let me have the popcorn. What? What? I need some. Oh! Game over. So, uh, what do we do now? Same thing we always do, huh? Play it again. <laughs> That's right, everybody. Would you believe that this group of 10-year-old kids, they like to play video games. Also, I love how the show came out in like 2004. Now in 2004, okay, we had amazing games like uh, Dragon Quest VIII, Paper Mario on the GameCube, Halle Berry's Catwoman. Okay, forget that one. So like, why are these kids sitting over here playing Dig Dug? <laughs> Although, to be fair, the show was made in Iceland, so like, I don't know, maybe they had just gotten the Atari 2600 back in 2004. Who could say? Anyway, then we cut to one of our main, main characters of the show, this guy, who I've seen at least three trillion memes of, and still have no idea who he is, <laughs> but, but whatever, here we go. Well, let's take a peek. <laughs> oh, perfect. Lazy Town is the laziest town on the planet. Mm. I'm gonna keep it that way. <laughs> huh, you know, I sure is lucky that someone called this place Lazy Town and then everyone suddenly became super lazy. I mean, look at these kids playing video games in their free time and uh, adults are just like sitting at their desks. Working? This says a lot about society. Now on this day, the mayor's niece Stephanie is coming to town for what reason, I have no idea, but I assume it's probably just so everyone can feast on her soul. Anyway, so she shows up, but Robbie Rotten over here is none too excited about someone coming into town shaking up the old status quo, you know what I'm saying? Okay, hold on a second. Didn't he just throw that cake across the room a second ago? And now he's got another giant piece of cake? I mean, seriously, how much cake is one man allowed to have? <sighs> Over here, Stephanie. Oh, there you are. Hi, Uncle Milburn. <laughs> this could mean trouble. <laughs> yes. Oh, I'm so happy you've come to visit. Wow, Uncle. This is a nice place. It's so much nicer than the coal mine they had me working at the last five years. What's that smell? Oh, well, you see, I accidentally bought the extra fiber raisin brain, so, you know, it's been kind of a rough day. Anyway, so Stephanie goes out to find the other kids in town to play with, and she runs into Ziggy. Who tells her that no one plays outside in this town, and all the kids do all day is uh, play video games and eat candy. Hence why his mouth looks like one of those sad 50-cent hot dog things you get at Ikea. I'm Stephanie. I like your costume. <laughs> well, I'm Ziggy, and I like candy. I can feel that. Oh. <laughs> So he invites her over to hang out with the other kids. Oh, uh, but I want you to meet Ziggy. I said on. Oh, wow. uh, hi, I'm Stephanie. 
you. Uh, what's that you're holding? A soccer ball. <gasps> you guys want to play? Uh, mm -mm. <laughs> I love how he's like, whoa, look at that cute girl with pink hair. I like sports. Ah, crap. But hey, I know exactly how you feel, okay? Same thing used to happen to me. I'd meet some new girl and it'd be like, well, hey there, I'm Alex. Tell me about yourself. Hi, I'm Amanda. I think video games are stupid and men who play them are just babies. People who watch Japanese cartoons are all creepy weirdos. Want to see my amethyst collection? Anyway, so Stephanie goes outside and sings a song about, like, playing with balls is fun, and everyone's like, yeah, it's a weird thing to say, dude. But you better believe Robbie Rotten over here is really not having any of this. No, sir, because Robbie Rotten is an all-cake, no-balls kind of guy, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Whoa. Whoa! Nice kick! It's Robbie Rotten. Mm -hmm. Who's that? Mm. Oh, just the laziest, grumpiest, no do anything guy in all of Lazy Town. Why, thank you. Okay, I'm sorry. Hold on a second here. Wait, you're telling me this guy is the laziest dude in town? This man right here? You see this outfit he's wearing? A full on spandex bodysuit, his pants pulled up to his nipples. This man is a trooper. You know how hard it probably is for this dude to go to the bathroom in this thing? Not to mention how he only eats cake. So, like, goodness knows how many times he has to do that every day. So. What is this? A ball. We were playing. Mm. Playing? Yeah. <laughs> what this? So long story short, Robbie Rotten convinces all the kids that they should just go back inside and play some video games. And just like that, Stephanie's ball time is over. Hey! You didn't stand a chance. Now, why don't you sit quietly and do nothing like a good little girl? Ha 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 ha! So she goes to talk to her uncle about, like, what she can do with the whole kids not playing outside thing. And he tells her that there's this superhero guy that lives above the town in an airship. Because, I mean, why wouldn't he? And so Stephanie writes him a letter to ask him to come on down here and do something. I've got mail! I need help, no one to play with in Lazy Town. Help? Is on the way. Let's go! <laughs> oh boy. This dude's definitely one of those guys who puts entrepreneur in his social media profile, you know, and every post he makes is like, hashtag rise and grab, brethren. Every morning I start my day by doing 35,000 backflips in my studio apartment. Hashtag I have no personality. Can you tell? Anyway, so this guy's name is Sporticus. Because he likes sports. Yeah, you get it, kids. My name is Sporkus. I'm Stephanie. Pleased to meet you. Another one? Are you a superhero? Uh, let's just say I'm a slightly above average hero. Also, fun fact, this guy's played by the actual director and creator of the whole show, so do with that information what you will. But all the same, Sporticus goes around trying to get kids to play outside and solving, like, random problems around town, I guess. And as usual, Robbie Rotten is just getting more and more rotten by the second. They're not going to ruin Lazy Town. I'll see to that. <laughs> You know, I don't really get what Robbie over here has to be upset about all the time. Cause like, he's got the chattiest chin you've ever seen. He's dragging a wagon like a thumb thumb from Spy Kids. This man's living the dream. And now it's time to put an end to Sparta Cook once and for all. <laughs> A trap! Again, laziest man in town? Are you kidding me? This guy's digging straight through pure asphalt right now. Anyway, Robbie sets this trap for Stephanie, hoping she'll fall down this two and a half foot drop and die. But wouldn't you know, the mayor's secretary falls in instead, and Sporticus and Stephanie save the day. And now all the kids in Lazy Town want to play outside for some reason. Until, of course, when we get to every other freaking episode of the show where no one wants to do anything, and then Stephanie and Sporticus are like, but it'll be fun. And everyone's like, well, shoot, when you put it that way. I've got great news. Uh, you found a big mountain made out of chocolate? <laughs> no, it's sports day, my favorite day of the year. Let's get going. Hey, guys, aren't you coming? Nah. Yeah. So Lazy Town originally aired from 2004 to 2007, and then there was a rebooted version with a different Stephanie from 2013 to 2014. And the new rebooted version is where we get the We Are Number One song, which really just hit like peak meme status back in like the mid 2010s. But sadly, the guy who played Robbie Rotten, Stefan Stephenson, passed away in 2018, and he was only 43 at the time. So as utterly bizarre as this show was, he did a great job of making people happy. And at the end of the day, I guess that's what really matters. You know, I don't know what it was back in the early aughts, but like there was just something in the water, I guess, because like 
So many girls had pink hair back then, you know? I mean, you had Stephanie from Lazy Town, you had uh, Lava Girl from, you know, Shark Boy Lava Girl. It's like, there's just, there's just something. Like, like everyone's childhood was the girls with pink hair, you know? And then, like, now that's just, like, what every girl on the internet is. I guess it's all, it all just came around full circle, you know? Well, what else is coming back? Mullets? Low-rise jeans? Apparently, they're coming back just the early aughts and also the 80s, I guess, at the same time, whatever. You know, as someone who grew up in the 90s, comparing, like, my childhood stuff to a lot of people who watch my channel who, you know, again, were kind of kids in the early aughts-ish, give or take, it's hard to tell which one was more bizarre, because, you know, certainly back in, in the early aughts, you had, like, Spy Kids, and then you had Lazy Town and Shark Boy Love, you know, all these, like, really just bizarre nonsense movies. But you go back to when I was a kid, man, and it's like, like, no wonder so many millennials are so messed up, because, like, stuff from the 90s was just so, like, I didn't even know how to describe it. I mean, you had Courage of Cowley Dog, you had a Red and Stimpy's, you know, you had your uh, Are You Afraid of the Darks, you had your Round the Twists and all that, just, just the most absurd, like, it's not even nonsense, it's just like, like, I don't know how anyone thought this up and how it got greenlit and how it got the budgets that it did, because, like, some of these shows were just so, it's just weird. And, like, Lazy Town, like, everything about the show is, is just bizarre. You know, it's got these, like, weird soulless puppets just on the hunt for, like, the souls of children or something. Stephanie's like, I like sports, and everyone's like, oh, this is cool, I guess. And the show went on for years. How many times can Stephanie be like, hey, let's play sports, and everyone's like, no, and then she's like, how about I sing a song, and everyone's like, all right, changed my mind. You know, but man, they got like 80 episodes out of that thing. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to ring that bell so you don't miss any videos from me. Send me an email at alexmyerscontact at gmail.com. Let me know what shows or movies or whatever I should do next. I have a podcast I do with my girlfriend called The Kelsey and Alex Show. There's also some like a like a dating romance section of it called Doing the Devil's Tango. So if you want to check that out, you know, feel free to do so. And above all else, everybody have a great day and I'll see you all next time.